plot thickens and the words it's over are being thrown around over the past 48 hours those are the words being told to ukrainian president vladimir Zelensky about this war it's over it's over it's over it's over while at the same time the united states is openly admitting that we are actively attacking russia uh, using ukrainians as cannon fodder to do it so this is confirmed by the cia uh, confirmed by Ukraine. So then we have this. According to reports, German and French leaders quietly met with Zelensky this week and told him that Ukraine will not win the war and should negotiate a settlement with Russia. But the U.S. is actively pushing for more weapons and a new escalation with Russia and China. So what the hell is actually going on here? There's a lot of weird timing of a lot of things. And we want to kind of unpack this. All the timing of these reports really smells fishy to me. Uh, on the surface, of course, Ukraine lost the war about a year ago. So this is not news. We knew from the moment this started that this was over. And everything that's happening now is just cleanup. And as Colonel Douglas McGregor said on our show, the only thing left is people being basically thrown into the meat grinder as cannon fodder. And we now know that this is confirmation of this. Newsweek publishing this report out of Bakhmut saying the life expectancy near the front line for Ukrainian soldiers is four hours. The life expectancy near four hours on the front lines of this war. Is that what people mean when they put a Ukrainian flag in there? It's okay for these people to die in pursuit of an ideology? Or, or the people, and we're going to cover this a little bit later, Dan Cohen's going to be joining us, this this pro-war protest in Washington, D.C. this weekend, where a few hundred people showed up, and they went to protest, and they even went to the Russian embassy, and were chanting, more weapons, more weapons, more weapons. Okay, so that's what this looks like. Four hours is the life expectancy of a person that shows up on the front lines and is killed. And the guy even said, he said, you know, sometimes it's a little bit longer. Like, oh, five hours? That's nice. Four or five hours is how long you're going to live now showing up on the front lines against this machine. Um, unbelievable. And the U.S. is using Ukrainians to be killed in this proxy war. If you really care about the Ukrainian people like you claim you do, then listen to me very carefully. My name is Lucas Gage. I served two tours in Iraq. I put it in quotes because who did I serve? The special interest who wanted war. How did they get that war? They lied to us. They said Saddam had weapons of mass destruction and he was tied to 9-11. Both lies, and we all know it now. Years later, of course, after all the damage has been done. The same, I believe, is happening with the Ukrainians. The EU... What is going on? 